Welcome to Keiwo's ultimate introduction to social media in China. In this video, we're going to be looking at all of the advertising options on WeChat and some of the challenges too. Advertising inside WeChat is a really interesting area. Before we get stuck into the details, I just want to point out this very interesting thing about where Tencent makes its revenue. While in the West we've just seen Facebook paying a multi-billion dollar fine for misuse of data and in some ways exploiting their users, you can see that Facebook makes 99% of their revenue from advertisers. This obviously pushes them in certain directions with their business model, which is perhaps not as friendly to the actual users of the Facebook platform. Weibo is in a similar situation with 87% of their revenue coming from advertising. Meanwhile, Tencent makes only 18% of its revenue from advertising. There are two main categories of revenue that are even bigger than advertising. Their gaming revenue from people buying virtual goods inside games, but then crucially their mobile payments revenue. And I'm going to say that I think WeChat is one of the most user-centric social platforms in the world because they are less conflicted than these advertiser-driven business models. Most of the time when Tencent makes money, it's actually because we are doing something that benefits us too. If we're buying a good or a service, we give a small transaction fee to WeChat as part of that. So actually, advertising is way less present inside WeChat than it is in other platforms. And as advertisers, you might feel like it's actually quite a tricky um, platform to be on. And maybe you don't get as good value for money because it is more focused on the users. But there are several options for advertising. The first one is to advertise inside users' moments. If you watched our earlier video um, about the WeChat app itself, we looked at the user's moments feed and we saw that brands can't actually post directly inside a user's moments, unlike on Facebook where, or Twitter where you can post directly inside somebody's feed. You can't do that in WeChat. The only people that can post there are their friends. The only way you can enter that feed is to advertise in it. And it's quite expensive. It starts from about 50,000 yuan for a campaign and your targeting options are not necessarily that um, fantastic, meaning that it can be um, quite an expensive way to advertise. The next way um, of advertising is banner ads inside WeChat articles, and this is starting to become a bit more popular. You can also show banner ads inside mini programs. And finally, the more recently, you've been able to promote your account to try and gain followers. Starting with WeChat Moments ads, this is what they look like. They're very clearly marked out as an ad in the top corner with a little menu that allows a user to provide feedback on whether or not they want to see that ad. And it obviously looks quite separate to the other content in their feed. You have to um, connect with an account manager in order to buy ads. There's no self-service platform at this point. Next, there are these banner ads which have started appearing in the bottom of WeChat articles. And as a content publisher, you are able to choose whether or not you want banner ads to appear there. And they can either link through to a mini program or to your official account um, uh, in order to drive followers in that direction. Next, we have WeChat mini program ads. And these are basically just simple banner ads that appear inside mini programs. According to research and data that we've um, managed to find, they actually prevent the best value for money inside the WeChat ecosystem compared to moments ads and account ads. Next, we've got a WeChat official account promotion, and this can happen um, at the top of the subscription feed or also um, as a banner at the bottom of um, a piece of content. You can promote users to follow your account and you can choose um, accounts that are more relevant to um, advertise alongside. This has really been a very quick introduction to WeChat ads. If you want to learn more, we highly recommend this guide from Faber Novell. They've really covered the WeChat ads ecosystem in a lot more detail and looks in a more practical way, helping you to understand how you could run campaigns on WeChat. To watch the next video in this series about WeChat for Work, just click up there. To download the full PDF guide for the whole of this report, 
take a look down in the description below and you'll find the link. Kwo created this guide and we're a software company that helps teams in China to achieve greatness on social media. To learn more about our platform, just click over there.